Hi guys! So as you can probably guess from the title, I am doing another tiny watercolor piece today. And I'm pretty sure that I say that in all of my tiny watercolor pictures, but I love doing these. Um, the more I do them, I think the more I'm getting addicted to doing them because they're just... There's something incredibly satisfying about when you finish a picture and it's done and you love how it looks and it's just... It's completed. And working this small means that it only takes about an hour, an hour and a half to get that satisfaction. So I've been really enjoying doing this instead of wasting time in gaps of time that I would normally not be able to really sit down and work on a full project. Now, instead of wasting that time, I found that I am actually working on these instead. And then I end up having this tangible proof that I was actually doing something concrete. And it's been really... It's been really satisfying. I've noticed that I've created obviously a lot more artwork, meaning these tiny ones, but also I've been sketching a lot more. It's just, it gets me in the mindset of drawing and working creatively in a way that I think when I wasn't doing this, I wasn't thinking as much about that, or it'd be harder to get into the mood or the desire to draw. And of course I would make myself draw because I need to make sure that I'm drawing every day, but it wasn't always as satisfying or I wasn't able to get the same kind of quality of pictures. But now that I'm working on these, I'm able to kind of get that jump started and to let myself really experiment and enjoy it and try and fail at some things. And it's really freeing to be able to just jump into something, see if it works. And if it doesn't, there's really no consequences to it. There wasn't that much time that I wasted. And ultimately, I learned something from that. So. Yeah, I really, really love this. I can't stress that enough. Working this small is just, it's really fun. I love it. So for this actual piece, um, when I started painting it, I knew that I wanted it to have a fairy tale feel to it without being specifically one character or one story. So I knew that I wanted her clothing to be green and I love green. It just has this really like natural magic feel to it, which I love. So yeah, but I've noticed for some reason green is kind of hard to work with or at least working with multiple shades of green because like blues when you have a more purple blue next to a more turquoisey blue they tend to look really well together but for greens i've noticed that when i'm working with more of a yellow green and i have more of a blue green next to it they tend to look clashy and they don't really mix together well for some reason and so what i did here was i actually used the same green base and I just tilted it one way or the other and that really helps harmonize it. I've done that a lot with my other pictures where even when you're using totally different colors, if you mix a little bit of the same color into all of them, it really brings them together and you can see that they harmonize together better. So I've been practicing that a lot more and I think that really helped with these greens, making them look a little bit more like they belonged and they look like they have this better color harmony to them. And I don't think I've actually talked about it in any of my other watercolor videos, but every once in a while you'll see me holding this green tool over my picture. And what that actually is, is this tool right here. And it's just a heat embossing gun that I got from the craft section of the art store. And what it is basically is it just blows super, super hot air. And it's really great. <laughs> it's great for drying out your watercolor picture so that you can, obviously if you've used watercolor before, you know that it has to be dry before you can either paint on top of it or paint next to it and this really does speed up the process a lot so I don't have to sit there and wait for things to dry out naturally which actually takes a really long time so I would highly recommend either picking one of those up or using a blow dryer those are pretty great too but yeah it makes watercolor a lot more pleasant for me at least because I don't have to sit there and wait or step away from the picture and wait for it to dry and then come back and add more to it and I don't like waiting and that's one of the reasons why I like these pictures because I can do them so fast and that's all thanks to that tool right there and I think the thing that I enjoyed doing the most in this piece was actually the background and I think the reason was that I actually let the watercolor do its own thing a little bit more because what I did was I put a flat wash of green and then while it was still really wet, I went in and dropped in a little bit more darker blue or green to the bottom. And I let those colors intermingle in the way that watercolor does. And it's just really beautiful. And I love that kind of bleeding effect and the fact that it does that really naturally. And then after that was dry, I added these looser brush strokes to create the trees. 
And I'd really like to do that more in my watercolor pieces, particularly where I just, I let the watercolor kind of do its thing a little bit more. And I think that there's a lot more detailing that I could do with the watercolor alone. And I think that gives it a lot more life to it. And I really enjoy painting it that way. So I'm excited to do that, to do a little bit more detailing that's specifically in the watercoloring and not necessarily in the line work. So yeah, some more things that I can work on as I'm doing these tiny little watercolors in the future. And that is pretty much it for this piece. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe so you can catch all my future art videos. And until then, I'll see you at my next one.